everyone. My name's Rachel and I am a member of the Performing Arts team at the Natural History Museum of LA County. I hope that everybody is staying home and staying safe during this time. And I know that all of this sheltering in place can get us all a little stir crazy. So I am taking some cues from the local animal life here in LA and I'm gonna show you how to get up and move around like birds do. LA is home to many, many species of birds. In fact, I bet if you look outside right now, you'll even see a couple. Around the museum, we have a specific few that we see all the time, including the Anna's hummingbird, the Cooper's hawk, and the Western screech owl, like our friend Odin. So I'm gonna teach you some movements of these animals to get you moving around, get you stretched, and get your blood flowing. This is a Cooper's hawk. Now these are predatory birds that are always on the hunt. They have large wingspans, and they're often seen soaring high above, searching for their prey. So let's soar like they do. Now, get very small and crouched. Get very still. Then on a deep breath in, get ready and soar. Very good, just like that. Remember to flap, soar out. Now, if soaring on one foot is too difficult, totally fine, we can soar on two feet. So, take a deep breath in, and soar. Looking for your prey, remember to flap. Very good. This is a Western Screech Owl. Now, many of you may already know a lot about this owl because of our local friend, Odin. Owls are majestic creatures, and they have stationary eyes that are located in the front of their flat faces. So in order to see things around them very well, they need to move their entire heads. This is how they triangulate where things are around them in space. So let's try that together. Starting in a seated position, let's move just our heads to the right, and then to the left. To the right, and then to the left. What are you seeing around you? Now, human beings cannot move their necks nearly as much as owls can, but we can cheat it a little bit by turning our entire upper bodies like this. To the right, then to the left, then to the right, and to the left. And that's an owl. This is an Anna's hummingbird. This is a very common species of hummingbird here in Southern California. Now hummingbirds are very small and very fast. In fact, they move their wings so quickly that it can even be hard to see at all. But if you were to slow that movement way, way down, you would see that hummingbirds have a very unique way of flapping their wings. They flap their wings in a figure eight motion, such as this. Now this allows them to move upwards, downwards, backwards, forwards, and always very, very quickly. So let's all try that together. Ready? Figure eights forward, just like that. Very good. For some added fun, you can grab a scarf or any other piece of fabric and put it on like this to be your wing feathers. Now, we can all zip around just like the Anna's hummingbird. How fast can you go? Well, I hope you all enjoyed those bird movements and got your blood flowing a little bit, and make sure to check out our other animal movement segments.